I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw this hack for like, learn how to do a split in three days with these stretches and practice. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So here's the stretches you have to do. First is this one. <laughs> hey, and then there's this. Okay, then, no, please move, please move. Then, you don't fight me, that is rude. Our neighbors are in Stop, stop it. Okay, then you stretch your leg like this. Stop. Okay, this is gonna be a horrible split because I can't even stretch right. Then, you try to do a split. Ow, shoot, Lenny, ow. Never mind. Good morning, y'all. It's about 7.30 a.m. right now on Friday, and I want to start this reading vlog off just by going over like a very loose list of some of my reading options for this weekend. I'm currently reading Battle Royale by Kusha Takami and I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. I'm well into both of those. I'm enjoying both of those, but I want to spice it up a little bit and add a third book into the reading weekend mix. Have y'all ever seen The Emperor's New Groove? Because I'm Pacha's daughter right now. Now I've narrowed my options down between two choices. The first is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. I just hauled this. I'm very excited about it. And it's the Paper Cut Book Club's pick for this month. I love all of those booktubers. I've never read along with them. I've read some of the same books and gone back and watched, but I've never read along with them and then also virtually joined the book club. So I kind of want to go ahead and get started. Like I need to read this by the end of the month and time's a ticket and I don't know if I'm gonna make it because it's pretty chunky and even though it might not look that big these words are teeny tiny my second option is another book club pick it is the sundown motel which would be read on my kindle by Simone St. James and the Paige Turner book club is reading this this month that is a book club made up of small booktubers they run it and I love watching these ladies videos and I really 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 want to read this book anyway I thought this would be the perfect time to go ahead and go through with it. So that's what's going to be swirling around in my head this morning. I do have to go into work for a little bit, but I think I might take you with me. But for now, oh Lenny, I gotta walk Lenny, Lenny. Gonna go walk Lenny, take care of him and whatnot. And there's no telling what I'm going to be doing in the next clip because these seem to not have any structure at all. Nope, not a good angle. All right, guys, I'm at work and I wanted to show you this clip just because I want to show you why I listen to so many audiobooks. I do this every morning and it lets me get a lot read when I can't actually be sitting down to read physically. So, here we go. Right now I'm on chapter 11 out of 31 of I'll Be Gone in the Dark, so that's what I'm going to be listening to today. So now I do all the other courts. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a reading update for you guys, but I am gonna go on a little run just because the weather's so pretty right now. And I just thought this would be an interesting time to pop in and say that I don't listen to audiobooks when I work out or when I run because all I can think about when I'm doing stuff like that is just that I can't breathe and I'm, I feel sick, so. <laughs> This is not going well. Okie dokie, I'm out of the shower and I've realized that I've mentioned this book like a million times in the past two videos and I don't think I've explained what it's about yet. I'm just assuming everyone already knows because I feel like I'm late to the party. This is a dystopian novel where the government has created this long running program where high school students, like one ninth grade class out of all of, I guess Japan, I'm not positive, but out of the whole country or region. But one class is picked each year to 
battle each other. They're taken to a remote location where they can't escape. They're all provided weapons. They don't know what they're gonna get, but they all get something. And the program doesn't end until there's only one person left standing. So just from hearing the premise there, it's it's kind of like The Hunger Games. This was published first, but I'm not sure like how similar the two are because I've not read The Hunger Games. Do you have a tick? Yeah. Lenny has a tick, let me get it. Just in case anyone's concerned, Lenny is on flea and tick medication. Um, the trick I just did was I got some Dawn dishwashing soap and put it on a paper towel and then you just rub and the tick will let go. So where was I? I think I was talking about how this is kind of similar to The Hunger Games, but this was published first and I've not read The Hunger Games, so I'm not sure how similar the two really are. I think that'd be really, really interesting to make that juxtaposition if you have read both of these. This is also one of my very favorite movies. It used to be on Netflix. I'm not sure if it still is. The book is pretty similar so far. I just love these action scenes. It's already so bloody and gruesome and gory and I can't get enough. I'm on page 88 right now, so I'm not very far into this big old 650 page book. And I'm not even gonna be reading it tonight. I have decided to go ahead and download The Sundown Motel on my Kindle just because that book club countdown is ticking. I only have until the end of the month and I have the rest of my life to read this bad boy. So I'm gonna go start that now. I might pop back in later to give you an update of how it's going but it also might be tomorrow morning we'll see okay well i've officially started the sundown motel i am 13 percent through on my kindle and it's going okay it's not quite what i was hoping it was it was going to be the first chapter was just it was so creepy it was so weird and i thought that that atmosphere was going to follow through the rest of the book I guess maybe things have to get set up. I've not even explained what this book is about. Basically, it's about this 20-year-old girl named Carly who has gone to the Sundown Motel because she had an aunt who used to work at this hotel and while she was working there, she went missing. So Carly is like a true crime fan and at the very beginning of the book, Simone St. James does a shout out to like the nerds and the weird girls and the murderinos and murderinos is the term for like the fan base of my favorite murder podcast and that is my favorite podcast. I've seen them live fangirling right now but that just meant so much to me I am the target audience for this book because I'm weird <laughs> I've been obsessed with true crime stories since I was a little girl and then on top of that I also love reading mysteries and thrillers I love ghost stories so I just don't see there being a better audience for this book than me which is scaring me a little bit with that I'm like, I I've obviously have been able to put the book down. I wanted to start it last night and just stay up all night reading. Um, that didn't happen. I've read a little bit today. I know I'm gonna read more tonight, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it this weekend like I hoped. Like I, I might even just go back to Battle Royale for tonight. But I still have to give you a reading update on I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which I'm also not finished with, but I wanna do that while I'm stretching, while I'm practicing for that split. I saw Emma Books do this on her channel one time where she was like stretching while she did her monthly wrap up. So Emma, I'm coming for your brand. So I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer is bumming me out right now, surprise, surprise. It's beautiful journalism, the writing is amazing, I love Michelle McNamara's work, and I love how much tribute she's paying to the victims and not just sensationalizing the crimes, but just not Lenny, that's my scrunchie. Oh well. Not only is this book making me sad because of the horrific nature of the of the content, but Michelle McNamara passed away before this book was published. And as I'm reading, sometimes there's a break in the text and it'll say, the following was pieced together from Michelle's notes or the following was taken from an article she wrote for the LA Times to where like the book was so close to completion and they just needed this extra glue to piece it all together. I guess her editors did. <sighs> and it just takes me back out of the piece reminding me that she did all this hard work and just didn't get to see it all come through to fruition. I'm on chapter 16 of 31 now in the audiobook. I'm not really listening to it sped up. I think I'm at 1.5 times the speed. It's something I could easily finish tonight, but I kind of want to go back to Battle Royale because I'm feeling slumpy. All right, let's try the split again. Oh, I almost got it.
got it. I almost got it. I finished it. I gave it five stars, but I just don't know exactly how to feel right now. This book wasn't what I was expecting. I, I thought it was going to read more like a podcast. I've listened to so many podcasts about this case. I know I sound like a broken record, but my heart is so broken for Michelle that she didn't get to see what happened to this case that she just took so much time on. It was so important to her. I love that even though most of this book was about the Golden State Killer, somehow it was it was more about Michelle's journey and trying to find everything out. <sighs> Much to think about. Something that was really cool that I didn't know that Scribd does was like, I was really glad that I had this physical copy because it has all these pictures on the inside. I thought, okay, well, I'll listen to the audiobook and then it's still worth me having this physical copy because I can go in and look at the, um, at the mixed media. Well, Scribd offers PDFs for books that contain mixed media. Maybe not every book, but it did for this book. So they're just really on top of things. I love that subscription service. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the vlog off here. I'm actually on antibiotics right now for a sinus infection and I feel a sinus headache coming on. And even if I do end up feeling better tomorrow, I think I really need to dedicate my Sunday to just reading big chunks of the books I've already started. When I vlog, like, don't get me wrong. I love, 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 love doing reading vlogs. I love videoing myself talking about these books that sounded weird sometimes i feel like when i talk through my thoughts i understand what i'm reading better but at the same time i've just not gotten anything read except for this audiobook this weekend and maybe like 50 pages in the sundown motel so i'm gonna just take sunday to do that and i'm just gonna drink a bunch of water and go to bed pretty early tonight i'm just i'm not feeling it as always thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye